Hello and welcome to this how-to video on GraphQL REST API. You will learn how to make a request to the uh, REST API of OPEX with a GraphQL request. In this video we will use Postman as a developer. If you have not watched the how-to video about get a bearer token or how to convert the ID, please do before watching this video. So in this video, we will create a request uh, to get a list of applications. So for that, we will open a new tab in Postman. We will put ourselves in Post and we will query the ITPM uh, REST API. For that, we need to access to the endpoint about ITPM. I've prepared here the URL about this particular endpoint, which is going to be uh, your server slash opex graphql slash api slash ITPM. The OPEX GraphQL may depend on your installation. Don't forget that this is a POST request that you need to make. You need obviously to put the authorization, so for that you need to put the bearer. If you have a bearer, just paste it here. If you no, don't have one, just execute the query about getting a bearer token and copy paste, copy paste the information into the section of the token. In the header, you will have to define a set of information like the environment, the repository, and the profile uh, you want to access to. Even if you have a bearer, you need to specify this information. So I have prepared here the information that I will uh, copy-paste into the header. Just switch to bulk edit, paste the information, and put the information here. As you can see, you need three information, the environment ID, the repository ID. To get this ID, it explain, it's explained in the how-to video about how to get how to convert ID. And the profile ID. So in that example, I'm using Enterprise Architect as the profile ID, but you could use ITPM Functional Administrator, for example. The content type is always application JSON. In the body, you have to specify the request that you want to send to GraphQL. If you want to switch to uh, row mode here, you will be able to paste the, the request that you want to have. So the request is made in the form of a JSON. So you have here to actually write this particular uh, syntax here, where you will put your query about application, ID, and name. If you want to know how to get this particular uh, query, simply watch the other audio video about uh, GraphQL. And then you can send your request to uh, the uh, API. You will get a response with the values that you requested, the application, the ID, and the name of the application. If you prefer, you can switch to GraphQL Beta, which will allow you to actually write your, qu your query directly here leveraging uh, the auto-completion of GraphQL. Just simply then send your request and uh, obviously you get the result. If you want to be able to have the auto-completion, you need to add a schema. So you have to add a schema into your API. To add a schema, go into the API tab and ask add the schema. Watch the other two video about how to add the API schema. Thank you for watching this video.